To extract the files from a RenPy game on Mac OS, you have to first find the files. In Steam, you just right click the game and go to properties, for example, and then you go to local files, browse local files. If you downloaded the game in a different way, for example, from itch, then you just unzip the zip file that you download. Once you are in the folder, look for the game folder. Go inside game and here we have it, RPA files. These are compressed, kind of like zips of files that are used in the game. Usually it's just archive.rpa, this time there are different files. We're gonna download a tool to be able to extract this. The tool is called RPA tool, you can find the link in the description of this video. Simply click on the RPA tool file and press raw. Now you have to save this file. This you can do in the menu at the top, just file save target as. Pick a folder and save it as all files format and change it to rpa tool.py then hit save here it is in the folder so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drag it from this folder to the folder called game where all the rpa files are now i have to get the path of the rpa tool and the rpa files so right click go to properties and copy the where copy it after selecting Then open the terminal using command space and typing in terminal and this will appear. In this terminal you have to type cd quotes and then you paste what you copied earlier end quote and press enter or return. And then you are in the correct folder with ls you can confirm that. And now all you have to do is type python space rpa tool.py space minus x space and then the file you want to extract for example images.rpa. Now let's look at what's going to happen. Remember, you have to add the .rpa at the end. And there it goes. It extracted the images into the GUI images and this file. And in these folders we can find the rest of the images. You can do the same with music files, sound files, etc. Give this video a like, subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Let me know if this video was useful in the comments. Hope it was. If you are on Windows, there is a much easier tool. Until then, ciao!